Hey everybody, this is the Mind Catcher and I'm bringing to you a quick springtime haul. Okay, I went to the Mac store. I'm going to start off with them. And I really, really, uh, you know, like to watch other people's videos, see what um, eyeshadows I don't have in my collection, and try to get some of the colors that I think really look nice on darker skin tones, you know, for myself. And then, you know, I look around for other things to add in my kit for my clients. There were some shadows uh, that I saw on YouTube where a lot of people were using them and I thought they were so gorgeous. I had to go and pick them up. So uh, the first one is Stars called Stars and Rockets. And it's a beautiful like duochrome purpley pink gorgeous color, okay? And I'm wearing it on my lids today. I think it is absolutely gorgeous. I saw a few people using it and I was just like, I must go to Mac and find this color. So there it is. And I'm gonna show you my And eyelid. that's the color that I have right here in my bottom lash line. Absolutely gorgeous. Love it. I also picked up the bling and that's D-A, first word. Second word, bling, the bling, exactly the way I said it beautiful pinky tone very shimmery and I'm also wearing that on my lid and I'm today. using it right here on top of the lid very beautiful color color especially for brides and um, actually I was tipped off on this color by watching uh, platinum's videos so I went to go pick and that this up. this last color, this is called Expensive Pink. And I had heard about this color from so many uh, YouTubers, I had to pick it up. Very beautiful, like pink with a gold shimmer. And I'm going to give you a swatch of it because I'm not wearing it. Look at that, absolutely beautiful. Excuse my hairy arm, but um, it is beautiful absolutely gorgeous it would be beautiful on a bride um, I could actually see it as a highlight too so beautiful I also color. picked up a cream color base this one is called improper copper and it's very beautiful I can give you a swatch of that and I'll swatch it right next to the expensive pink and it kind of looks like expensive pink but only in a cream form so it's absolutely beautiful. Okay, and it would be pretty as a highlighter, even on the lid, very beautiful I color. I also took the liberty of picking up a deep, dark, mineralized skin finish. Beautiful, beautiful, I'm wearing it today on my skin, and I must say, I wore it yesterday and today, and I really, really like it. It, it gives me a nice, uh, mattified finish without being too matte or cakey. It's um, like a fresh face finish, okay? I think it's gonna be a very nice skin finish, for, especially for the spring, when you're looking for something to mattify you um, in this heat. I'm in Florida, so looking for something to um, mattify you a little bit, but still give you that dewy effect. And I and think guys, this is I it. finally gave in and bought heroin. Okay, I am truly, truly loving it. I really looked at it in the uh, packaging here and I thought, okay, so what's the hype? It looks like a purple I probably already have or several pur purples I already have. But look at this swatch, let me show you. It is, at, it glides on so smooth and it is the perfect pinky purple color. Beautiful and it looks gorgeous on dark skin. So I'm gonna, uh, play around with it a little bit and you guys are gonna see it in some tutorials to come for sure. All right guys, I'm gonna move on to my drugstore find. I finally jumped on the EOS train and I picked up two of their uh, lip balms. This first one I've already opened it and it's called Tangerine and I'm really loving it. This one is antibacterial. It smells very fresh and good. It makes my lips feel super, super soft. The other one is called Strawberry Sorbet. So um, I can't wait to open up that one. And um, I'm reading here that it has shea butter in it, jojoba oil. It's 100% natural and 95% organic. And I didn't know that about those. So you guys who are um, looking for something for your lips, skincare, trying to stay on the natural and organic side of things, Go ahead and try that out. 
I also picked up three separate Milani uh, nail this polishes. This polish here is just screaming uh, springtime. It's called Colorful Coral. It's number four. Absolutely beautiful. Cannot wait to put that on. Um, I know it's going to be a very pretty toe this color. This color right here is called uh, Showy Sea Green. Very pretty color. Again, an another great uh, toe color. I think it's going to be very pretty. And this on the last toes. color, of course, is a teal. It's called Quick Teal. And I think it's going to be very pretty on the hands as well as the feet. Um, you know, teal is like a really, really popular color. And I was trying to find a nice teal. I think I did it. I really like the cream color nail polishes. So I'm going to uh, give these a try. I'm going to let you guys know what I think about them. And I'm going to have a full write up on them and swatches on the blog. So be looking out for this that. This is the uh, Maybelline Illegal Length Mascara. I had heard a lot about it, so I wanted to give it a try. As you can see, I haven't opened it yet, but I'm going to do a review on it. And I'm going to upload the video review to my blog. So you guys check that out, okay? But I've heard some great things about it, and I had to try it for myself. So... So be looking out for that so you'll know whether I like it From or not. From Revlon. Revlon came out with some very pretty uh, blushes and I picked up uh, two of them in the same color by mistake. But uh, this one is called Why Not, okay? It's a beautiful color, I think, for darker skin tones, and I'm wearing it on my cheeks right this now. This color right here, you guys saw in my last uh, makeup tutorial. This is from Black Opal, and it's called Atomic Flame. Super gorgeous red-orange color. I'm gonna swatch it right here on my hand for you. It is blazing. When I tell you, you're gonna get all kind of compliments with this color. It's like you cannot miss those lips. Beautiful color, okay? So you guys, go ahead and pick this up. I'm quite sure it'll look nice on all skin tones, but I'm a darker skin tone female, so I, you know, I have to look out for us and tell us, tell everyone what I think looks nice, and I think it's beautiful. I got a lot of compliments on Instagram, Facebook, and on uh, YouTube with this last tutorial, so you guys go ahead and pick that up from Black Opal. Another color I picked up from Black Opal are these um, brilliant uh, patent lips. I do own a lot of them. I did a, a review on them before uh, Black Opal sent me, but but this one I went to go pick up myself from the drugstore because they are great. The formulation is absolutely superb, and I'm wearing it on my lips right now. Let me give you a quick swatch of it, and the color is true. Look at that bright, vivid, thick, not too thick, um, it's wearable, but it is a brilliant, brilliant pink, and this color and is And you can posh. see on my lips that it is definitely true to color. I'm using a little bit of Current Lip Liner by MAC, and I'm also using Posh. Beautiful color, okay? So if you guys are looking for something to really pop, beautiful with a neutral eye look and just a splash of color on the lips go ahead and look for that beautiful okay and i don't know what they did about uh the formulation for the lipsticks but the atomic um flame lipstick smelled wonderful and you guys if you didn't see my review on some of the lipsticks and the patent lips i'm gonna leave the link in the description box or somewhere up here in the video uh, you can pause this video and go to that one and then come back over here. But um, the video where I did the swatches, I did say that some of the lipsticks taste ugh, and some of them smelled kind of bad. But for the color payoff, I was willing to put up with it. But these, I don't know what they did smell like candy and taste great too so well, i can't say taste great they don't taste like anything but it's better than what they taste like before so go ahead and check those out if you're looking for something that smells great okay i also picked up some makeup wipes uh this is from the company up and up you know like a generic uh brand but i love them they're very very moisturizing and rich it says here that they have a triple T antioxidant complex, whatever that means. All I know is it's very moisturizing, it's very thick, and it feels good. And one wipe, you can take off all your makeup with one wipe. I just flip it over and do the other side. 
excellent for the uh, I think I got these for about 99 cents at CVS it may have also, been on I sale. decided to pick up some clean and clear uh, this is the three-step cleanse that wash away dirt oil makeup without over drying there's a toner in there there's a uh, deep cleaning astringent and a dual action moisturizer I'm trying to be a little bit more vigilant with my skin. Um, I, I don't have really bad skin problems. Um, what I normally use is ivory soap, believe it or not, because someone asked me in another video what am I using on my skin. Ivory soap does me so well on my body. It really makes me itch. It gets me it, it makes me really dry But because my skin on my face is so super oily I'm assuming that it you know It takes away that oil at night or whatever that builds up and I usually use it early in the morning late at night That's the only time during the day or if I'm taking off makeup after I use my makeup remover I wash my face with ivory soap and that's what I've been using and Curel um, fragrance free lotion is also a moisturizer that I've been using on my face and that's it I haven't uh, had any bad experiences with it but I was reading you know you as you start get a using older, something you... on your skin when you start getting a little older you know you start getting a little 30 ish 35 ish you want to start putting a little something on your skin um, and start getting it in the shape uh, exfoliator things like that moisturizers of course depending on your skin type and on my blog I do have a few um, posts about skin type oily skin sensitive skin uh, and dry skin because oily skin well you can be combination with any of those but I do have uh, some information on the blog that could be helpful I'm gonna link it below so you guys can click on it for whatever skin type you may have and um, basically it's just telling you what you should be purchasing if you had skin. that particular um, skin I can't just get away with using the ivory soap anymore I have to do some sort of a toner I have to start cleaning out my pores I have to start exfoliating my skin so I decided to you know pick up some items and see if it works for me and I guarantee you if it does not work I will stop uh, using it pass it on to a cousin or something or somebody else in the house but for right now I just want to try Try something you know to get my skin in tip-top shape if I can get rid of the little blemishes that I do have and um, you know just take care of the skin that I have okay I also picked up uh, the ponds uh, let me see dark spot correcting cream and um, I'm gonna start using that I heard that it was a very soft uh, thing to use it's not gonna be you know uh, burning the skin or making me too light or anything I could kind of just spot it on different little um, you know imperfections that I may have and start lightening those things uh, up and hopefully it works so I will definitely be letting you guys in on that and they had a sale of course for two for one so I got that and last but not least NYC cosmetics if you have not owned anything from NYC give them a try I love to use their translucent powder I love to use their lipsticks I did a lipstick uh, video with them and uh, NYX a while back but um, now I'm starting to pick up some more of their uh, lippies they have these new intense lip color these are the twistable lipsticks and they look like this and let me focus on this and you guys bear with me with the uh, camera I know the next couple of videos you guys are gonna see may be a little bit off with the focusing I do have a new camera this is the Canon T3i and I'm learning to use it along with my hubby and um, you guys just bear with us until we learn it may take us about a week or so to get it together but um look at that color that is one of the uh, intense lip colors this one is called uh, neutral this is number 10 and it smells like candy love it okay so I own a few of those um, I don't know where I put them but I picked this one up yesterday so I'm gonna once I get all of them because I love them that much I think I want to get all of them once I get all of them I'm gonna definitely bring them back to you guys and do like a lip swatch video showing you all of my NYC lippies again and um, that's about it
So guys, if you like what you saw, remember to thumbs up and thumbs up for swatching on my hairy arm and thumbs up for my husband that's playing behind the camera right now. And if you would like to see a video on this makeup look, I did do a video guys, but I had to trash it. You are moving the camera. Okay, go ahead, let me see what it looks like. You good, go. Anyway, I did do a video on this makeup look, but guys, it looked te Okay, if I see a lot of thumbs up, I'll go ahead and upload what I already have, <laughs> okay? Um, thumbs up if you want me to upload the video that I did. It's an extreme focus, okay? It's like I'm like this on the screen, but you can see the color so well, okay? So, um... I don't know whether I should just delete it or upload it. You guys, thumbs up. Whoever thumbs up, I'll count them up and see if you guys uh, want to see that video. And then uh, I could go ahead and upload that like tonight. But if you don't thumbs up and you would like me to redo it, just put uh, in the comment section redo. And I'll redo it again with a different lip color. Let me know if you want neutral or you like the pop and pink. Whatever, okay? Uh... That's it. Okay, cyber kisses. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.